What? What? Why? Why? I don't know. Hello down there. Can you hear me? Well, guys, I'm going straight to hell for this one. There you go. You don't even need animal heads. Looks fine without them. That looks like a legit coin machine. Cool. What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Pick Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty. Hi. You're watching Bemis, where I review Lego and alternative Lego sets, if they are original. Sometimes I can't tell with these things, like this one maybe. You know, if you don't like it, don't buy it. If you like it, it's available. Maybe not for much longer. This, this I built and I'm like, I have to build this thing. I have to review this for you guys. It's kind of cool. It's like a coin machine. Look at this. This thing has got some weight to it. Best part is, it doesn't even look like it's like brick built. It looks like a solid machine. And it was only until after I built this, the little animal guys, people were pointing out to me like, Scotty, that's from Animal Crossing. Hey man, this brand doesn't list it. So without trying to offend too many people and put too much effort into this video, I'm just gonna keep it very simple. We're just gonna do two cameras shot here. I'm gonna go through this pretty quickly. You know, use your own eyes, judge this thing, do your own version of this thing. Don't buy it, buy it if you wanna buy it. This brand might be a little bit more questionable than the other ones out there. You know, let's just look at this thing first. What you're looking at here is from Super 18K, the coin pusher. That's what they call it, coin pusher. K104, 2,980 pieces, something like that. Look, if a company doesn't even put their own brand name on the, the, the manual, something's up, man. Oh yeah, it does come with a sticker sheet, little sticker sheet here. And they come with some items that you need to use right away, which I didn't see that they actually tape on the first page of the instructions. So if you're gonna build it, make sure you look at those pieces. Don't be like me and build the whole thing going, I have so many missing pieces. Now I didn't put the sticker sheet on this one because I felt like it was enough already. It's pretty colorful. You know, you're gonna put the stickers on the character's eyes here and the, the, the logo of the Super 18K along here. And I just felt like it's, it's fine the way it is. And there's a couple of stickers that go on the bottom here. I'll just show you there where the stickers go here. It's gonna go over the tiles. I just felt like I didn't need it here. So what's so special about this? Why do I have to review this? Look, you guys can take your ideas from this, steal it back from them, do your own machine. So you're asking yourself, why is it called a coin pusher? Because it's like one of those Japanese machines when you go to Japan, you go in the arcade and they have this, those machines where you drop coins in and it pushes more coins out for you and some gifts and you're like, yeah, I gotta keep playing it. Super addicting. I'm actually a huge fan of those. And it's been so many years since I've been back there I was like, this would be awesome if it builds good. So it's been kind of in the corner. I'm like, I don't know if I should build this or not. And this is one of the samples that was sent to me. And we have a couple of these available in stock. Get if you want to, don't get if you don't want to. You can just take a look at this video and have fun. And you know, go ahead, go crazy in the comments. I'd like to know what your thoughts are on this. Overall, as a build, it was actually totally fine. What surprised me the most was the machine itself, the whole set is mostly brick, except for the background that you can see in there. That background is a piece of cardboard and it's held down by some studs, circle one studs. I don't know what the circular studs, okay. They actually popped off on me, so I just left it in there. It holds it fine. They give you a whole bag of coins, man. I was like, why is this set so heavy? Because it's one bag. So do you, do you credit these guys for making like real coins that come with a set? That's pretty impressive, man. So background coin are the only things that are not brick built. So you know, kudos for them for doing it like this. You know, they did do the Famicom, which is the, if you watch my NES video, you'll kind of see a sneak peek of that. I didn't release that video because it wasn't an, it was not an approved design. But the funny thing is that set has been discontinued. It's no longer available. They're not making it. Maybe they will again, I don't know. It stopped though, maybe it wasn't popular enough. So there, designer got his wish, no more. Should I release that video still? Should I do it? Yes? No? Let me know. Okay, so cool. Man, this set is super vibrant. And again, I wouldn't have known it was Animal Crossing without the animals. And I guess if you wanted to put the stickers on the face, it'll kind of bring out their characters more. They look fine to me. They look super cute. What I like is on the side here, so for this side, is the bear. And I was wondering why he looks so familiar to me. These are all one by one squares. I was like, wow. That was impressive. That was actually a lot of fun to put together. So it feels very bricked out, except for maybe the panels here. But then you're like, you gotta do another bear in the back. 
oh yeah, this is a motor, because this thing really runs. And I was like, oh, this is gonna be pretty cool, right? And then you got another bear there. You gotta do these bears like three times. So that can be kind of monotonous. Everything else during the base was totally fine. And the mechanism that's on the inside, which I'll try to show you near the camera, it's very simple. I was like, oh, that's it? There's not much more to this. It's very hollow on the inside. And to see whether or not it works, ready for this? Turn it on. Ooh, you hear that? Oh, it's catching on a little bit here. Oh, there we go. Listen to the sound of that working. We've never played one of these things before. In Japan, you'll see like three times as many coins along here and the objective is to try to push all the coins off by putting in your own coins. Do you win money? I don't think so. It's like an addicting thing. It's like you walk out of there going, oh, there's no prizes? That's it. You're paying for an addiction that you don't need. So how does it work? There's a slot up here. You get your coin. You just drop it in and go, Ooh, there it goes. Will I win anything? Oh, you gotta keep them doing it until you win. You know what, the kids love this. Here we go again. Come on. Oh, I won one. Oh, a couple more. You know, I'll just sit here and just do this all day and you guys can just judge for yourself. Come on, coins. Win me something. This can take a while, guys. There we go. Yes, I want a couple. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So it does work. I'm like impressive. Now it does catch sometimes. So if I go the other way, you'll hear it. Yeah, you hear that? It's something to do with the top piece being pushed down too hard. You can push it up, loosen it in there, or try to like, I don't think it's just the piece that actually moves. Oh look, I just won my own coin. Oh, it's a little bit better now. Maybe, this is not gonna be perfect, man. Most important thing is, it works. I can play this all day. It, it just sounded better going the other way though. There we go. My last, two more coins, man. Yeah, I won more coins, there we go. Yes. I'm gonna switch that off for a second. I win anything on the sides. So you have these two little blue baskets there. Bonus, bonus coins. That's it, I'm done with this review. Okay, I'll switch to the other camera, let you guys see a little bit more detail on the inside. I'm pretty sure sooner or later, the surface is probably gonna get really super scratched up. But yeah, the coins work fine when, they, when they're on there and no issues there. Ooh, how's that look? And just so you know, it is freaking solid, man. Inside, there's just like two, it's basically like two handles that's pulling this thing in and out. You gotta make sure they're even. And I probably could have done a better job and it probably would have been more straight. It looks like it's catching like right there. A little bit better, maybe it's, maybe it's popping up a little bit. They're smoother now. We need to see more action with the coin toss there, there we go. Coins can get stuck along the top sometimes. There you go. Does that make you excited? Ooh, look, that coin stood up. I'm telling you, man, this is fun. I've never seen anything like this. Is this crazy? Oh, see, perfect. This is one of the studs that was supposed to hold up inside the background, but I think you don't really need it. I was really expecting the worst out of this thing. I was like, this is gonna suck. It's not gonna fit right properly, and no one's gonna buy this thing. But now that I built it, yeah, this is fun, man. It's like being in an amusement park. You can charge kids to play with this thing. Put some snacks on the bottom. Be like, come on, kitties. This will cost you 25 cents. Use your own quarters and your own coins. Here's a look at the Super 18K coin. Dude, that's actually really impressive, man, that they just made these coins just for the set. The other side. Repeats. I wonder if I use this in a real store if it would work. Buy something with it. There's the background, the treasure chest, and it's guarded by these panels that are double-sided and it's not actually that scuffed. I was kind of surprised. I'm like, oh, I like the yellow and the pink. Kind of works well with the green as well. If there was any real issue, it'd be like 
Yeah, the pushing down on the plates, sometimes things might want to pop out. Like here on the side, sometimes the pieces want to kind of push back out. It's like it's because it's so hollow. If you apply too much pressure, it'll just like pop back out. So yeah, downside to this thing, you know, still not perfect. Oh, it's cool, man. Damn it, Scotty. What are you doing? I've corrupted you guys. Don't buy it. Just watch this video and enjoy it. The top can pop off like that. There. Pretty simple stuff, but yeah, it has a little bit of flex there. That's not perfect. Okay, now that I have all the coins out, I can flip it and show you guys the inside here and go like that and go, this looks like a game of Connect Four. And you can see at the very bottom, that's where the gears kind of move up and down. I have to stand up to this part right here. If I turn this on, I can get an idea of how that thing moves. Yeah, it looks like I didn't get this side quite lined up right and I didn't want to take it all apart again. I'm like, ah, that's fine. I don't have to be perfect. Let me go the other way. But sometimes, like, if I lift this part up, let's see if I can fix this there. Yeah, it's catching on to something. There you go, push this down, push this down. I probably made this worse now. Oh, it's actually sounding pretty okay. You know what, you guys can probably do a better job than I did. I'm not good with, like, technic stuff, but it seems to be running a little bit smoother now. Go back this way. Oh, it's ca definitely catching on if I go the other way on something. That yeah, can always be fixed later. So there you go. It's just an empty hole in there, guys. At least you got the same look at the bear on the inside. The pack for the batteries is easy to remove. You just take that off and slide this up and be like, yeah, now you can change the batteries. This sucker uses six AA batteries. No idea how long this would last. That is pretty much it. So you got the cute little animals. You know, you can always take the animals off if you feel offended that you don't want animal theme. You only got it on the side of the wall then. So I'll put this back on. Sometimes a little bit tricky to get this piece back on, but otherwise, yeah, this thing is solid. All right, I'll do dimensions for you guys. Just in case you wanted to know, it's actually on several 16 by 16 plates. So it is slightly off. If I pull my 32 by 32 base plate here, put it there, it's actually 48. On this side, it's a 48 by 32. See, different. Now we check for the height. Break out your one by four bricks. I got mine stacked up right here. It is around 33 bricks in height. Okay, maybe a little bit more for the owl's ears there, or a little bit less. If you didn't want to use the animals, just take them off like that and be like, no need you guys. We don't need animals for this. Who are these guys? We don't know. It's just a bear and a mouse to me. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this part. It's for me to drop it, right? I'm gonna run the sucker. I'm gonna lift it up. I'm gonna drop it with all the coins in there and just see what happens. In five, four, three, two, one. Still going, baby. Just the owl's head came off. I need to win more coins. It might be kind of cool to see this in slow mo. So there's a quick preview, overview, review of this set. I just thought it was actually kind of cool to show you guys because it does exist out there. You can pretty much get this anywhere you want to get it from. And if Lego really does make this one day, I'll just buy theirs, okay? Is that cool? Is that not cool? So before I switch this on and play a round of Coin Pusher, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys are subscribing. Thank you so much. And I'll be back with more legitimate fun sets, all right? Here we go, on. Until next time, you guys. Bring me up! You know, these guys are pretty smart for not putting the word Animal Crossing on this set. Just called a coin pusher. Even I had no idea. Good job, Scotty. Let's see how many coins I can win. Come on, Scotty. Go, go. You guys still watching this with me? 
another coin down. Come on. Oh, that one got stuck. There we go. Anything yet? Push. No. You can do this all day. It's so much fun. Oh, one, one. I'm running out of coins. Getting stuck in there? Probably getting stuck. There we go. Yes! We're winning! Yes! Come on. Oh. Yeah. See? It's gonna be never ending, man. But it's just so much fun. Here, I'll drop some on the side of the end. Oh, got stuck on the end. There we go. Ooh. Yeah, winner, chicken dinner.